All right, what's goody? We in here. <laughs> it's day two, week three. Week three, day two, and we have bench and we got some deads. Um, bench is gonna, it's gonna, I don't know. I feel, I know I feel tight. Like yesterday, I don't know what it was, but them squats wore me out like a mug yesterday. Like me, uh, Christian and Lorenzo, obviously y'all saw like we was in here dying and it was a whole thing. Like, <laughs> I don't think I've ever stayed on the floor that long after squats for a minute because I just wasn't expecting it to take that much out of me but like I said I think it's the fact that it was a pump product too and so my legs felt like they were literally gonna explode so I ain't taking that shit no more um I definitely don't suggest that you take any pump products before a dead or a squat because it's just gonna hurt unnecessarily and you're gonna be worried about the pump instead of actually doing the lift but we're gonna get warmed up I wish I could have got warmer, but every time Marty comes in here, he doesn't turn the heat on because he's the only person that trains in here. And so nobody else, nobody else needs heat because apparently that's, that's, that's too much to ask for. But we're going to get warmed up. Let's get it. There, look, look at his ass. Oh, that's so weird. Alright, so can, let's ignore the fact that my shirt wrinkled as hell. Like, it's extremely wrinkled. But, alright, so we got top set. The only, the only reason I'm nervous is because it's been a while since I've been able to do this much weight for this many reps. And normally, normally I wouldn't freak out. I'm not, and I'm not saying that I'm freaking out now. But it's like, when you have a streak of success, it's like you'll do anything to not ruin that streak. And I don't want that to be today. But... This is, for me, for me, to me, this is a lot. So to accomplish this, it also means a lot. So we got four. I'm gonna just try to knock them joints out. Uh, yeah, it's, it's crazy because it's like, it's staring at me. I can feel the, I can feel it's the, the vice grips of fear trying to lock around my body and mind, but I'm gonna get it, we gonna get it. So as you can see, we hit that joint for four. Uh, I got that long arm syndrome, not a syndrome, but my arms are long. And so that just means I just need to get them stronger. And it's all good, it's week three, we're like deep. We're deep, we in the, we in the trenches. But I'm, I'm happy with it because it's a lot for me, um, knowing where I come from. But something that I want to try to get through is these back downs. The hardest thing, uh, and shout out to Martin. He actually did, Martin, you, Martin, you did something right. Shout out to you. Um, <laughs> the hardest thing for me to do is right now, 
is get rid of the way I was benching before as far as like reaching and trying to pull the bar. If I'm, if I'm sufficient in my legs, my elbows are turned down and I'm just staying active in my lower body, which is the harder part for me, then I, you don't have to contract your lats. They're already, con they're, they're tight. So all you have to do is just like, I have to like let it drop, like just ride it down. And it's funny because when I uh, shout out to Devin, when we talk about squats, we talk about just creating that tension, being tight everywhere, and just riding your riding that tension down at whatever pace um, your body allows you to squat at. So it's kind of almost the same thing with bench for me at least. I'm not trying to go crazy fast. I'm trying to go as fast as I can while maintaining that tension. Um, but something that I, again, I need to work on and just do better is making sure that I keep that outward, that lateral tension. Because for me, with my stance and how wide I am, it's not so much uh, that up and down, that forward and back displacement, but just like that driving out. So we got back downs of fives at 336. And I'm going to do as many sets as I can before it drops. Hopefully I don't have to go down and wait and if i do that's fine because it's important for me to maintain the rp through the whole set so we we gonna we gonna do this push push Did it, Mr. Fatigue Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let's do this. Michelle, this is Michelle, y'all. Hello, you guys. Michelle, what do you feel like is the number one thing that holds new power lifters back from making progress? Um, I will say not being dedicated 100%. Like, trying to enjoy life and then not taking everything seriously like your priorities are like so out of whack what are what are what are what does it mean to take this seriously like you gotta give it 100 percent all of the time and that means nutrition sleep recovery um training everything needs to be 100 percent if you want to be a great power lifter you hear that guys a lot of you guys are not brought in 100 percent a lot of you guys are kind of just doing stuff. You're kind of just training. You're kind of just uh, counting macros or being on your nutrition. You're kind of just getting sleep needed. You're doing the bare minimum of everything, and you're wondering why you're making bare minimum progress. And then for those who are doing the things, you're forgetting how long that it took some of the people that you see today to get strong. And a lot of you guys are looking for the end date. But in order, what's the phrase go, how it go? It's like if you want to. If you want to be able to spin without looking at your wallet, you got to be able to work without looking at the clock. It's something like that. But you can't be looking like, oh, man, I want to be here by then. And it's like, nah, it's good to have timelines, but you also have to just be able to go into that zone and work until you get there. Because I feel like a lot of people will work and it because they're not remotely close or they feel like, they're really far away from their goal that they're not improving they're not getting better when that is not the case so we gotta we gotta get out of that toxic shit that's toxic powerlifting mindset we gotta get away from that but we got deadlift we got clusters we're gonna start with two reds because that's what strong people oh, do fuck. Why are you then, recording? What's up? all right let's I get it Try to try to 
Touching it, time to drop niggas on bed, yo Touching it, gotta let's do it So, um, if this if this video is playing, I'm doing RDLs. So the thing about RDLs, right, is I feel like when people do RDLs, they kind of just rush them, and they think about it as like this supreme fucking contest instead of actually feeling the muscles that are supposed to work. So one thing that I have been doing personally is just going slower, making sure that I feel my hamstrings working, and I'm cueing myself to feel for the sensation of pulling my feet back and pulling the ground behind me through my heels so that I can push my hips back and just really focus on hitting my hamstrings. Um, I can RDL a, a lot of weight. Like if we just talking about like just throwing some shit on there, I can do that. But this, this prep and this go round, I don't want to just do these for the sake of it, like for power, at least not, not right now. I want to focus on building my hamstrings, making sure that I feel them and a lot of times people go too slow, not not go too slow, people go too fast and they're just like ee, 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 versus like actually taking their time to work through and feel their hamstrings work. And then people wonder why um, they have little hamstrings or it's, it's so like, for example, like with squat, people don't understand that your quads are the main mover, but the antagonist needs to be well balanced so that there's not too much like everything is firing synergistically so even though a, a squat is quad dominant if your hamstrings aren't working properly or they're not weak they're not going to be able to provide that we just gonna say anti-resistance is that a word i don't know it's not going to be able to provide that and allow for a stable squat so no more weak hamstrings no more little booties um let's let's also not just work our booties like i feel like there's a weird obsession with like a big butt and if you just train your legs, everything will kind of shape and work out. Don't just be in this bitch doing RDLs to the cows come home. Work your whole body. All right, hold on. That's why I really so popular. All right, guys. So that was today. Ironically, I have to be in here tomorrow to squat and do accessories. Um, I'll probably, normally I go to Fitness Connection and I do them, but I'll probably do them here because I have a Paul squat set of five and a high bar set and it's it's not gonna be crazy heavy but it's gonna be heavy enough to make me be like damn this is heavy uh <laughs> if you like the video like the video uh comment like share subscribe stay confident stay strong stay fearless stay dangerous be undeniable and press on and i'll see you on the next one